Hey everyone, I just got some fitness armor equipment from the Fremont, California location and I just wanted to share some of my thoughts on the quality of the equipment. I won't share my thoughts on how I got the equipment, uh, that'll be on the Yelp review and the Google review, uh, but in short, all of the bad reviews are true. Uh, so here is their Proline Elite uh, six position bench with three seat positions. Um, this is about $100 more expensive than their standard Proline bench, uh, which is also a six position bench uh, with three seat positions. So it's just the more premium version with quote unquote premium leather and all that. So I wanted to share some of the downsides of this bench. One major thing is you can see this plastic bar here for each position that catches on for each position, it is misaligned and it caused the plastic to wear down on one side because it struck against this metal or continuously strikes against this metal unless you manually yank this to the, to the other side. So as you can see, as I go up and you can see it's quite a bit of damage already here already and this is brand new. And so as you go up, you have to be very careful to make sure this indent is catching onto this uh, protrusion right here instead of this uh, uh, plastic or uh, elevated plastic piece. And so, as you can see, there's a bit, bit of wiggle room. And so for the higher rungs, you can probably uh, manually pull it or just manually be careful and prevent this from getting any worse. Uh, the only t the only good side is that this is just a plastic piece. There's a metal bar inside, so hopefully this plastic piece is replaceable. Uh, however, uh, Fitness Armory has made it clear that they don't sell individual pieces. So uh, even if you do want to repair this, it may be a DIY job. So that's one thing. The other thing is that in a certain extreme position, these two pads actually will collide and uh, start to push each other uh, and create stress against each other. So it is an unlikely position. However, if you go all the way up to the 90 degree position, as you can see, it pushes the pad quite a bit. Um, a lot of other better quality benches uh, have a bit more clearance. They may touch as well, but it uh, doesn't feel like it should be this, this extreme. And one last thing, it's purely aesthetic, but again, I'm not sure why, or it just, it just doesn't scream great quality, is this piece, this piece serves no other purpose except for probably aesthetic, because this is a metal bar, so there's no kind of structural support that this piece would provide in this catch. Um, however, as you can see, it's not flush with the um, actual metal bar. And so it really just looks kind of cheap. The rest of it seems to, you know, when you have a screw here, it uh, allows the uh, this kind of metal piece to sit flush against the, the actual mechanical piece. Um, but if there's no screw, obviously, this long portion with without a screw the other two screws are here this uh you know it protrudes out a little bit so um in general i think this is an okay bench uh this is about 499 dollars depending on what sale they're doing and these prices wild well, very wildly on this website so uh it really depends on when you check and what sales they have um to give you a baseline Rogue Fitness's standard six position bench is around $545 for around the same thing. Uh, the other thing is that this uh, bench is, it's about 96 pounds. So it's like around a hundred pounds. It could be good or bad uh, depending on um, what flooring you guys have, but uh, it's still movable. It's got the wheels and they're okay. So uh, the one last thing that is specific to this bench and uh, was a cause of a lot of pain was that 
you can see by the instructions, there is a back plate here, or it says there's a back plate here. And in the part list, it says there's a back plate. Um, and as you can see, there is no back plate. And that is apparently the way it's supposed to be. Uh, the manufacturer apparently just didn't update their uh, assembly instructions. I don't know how true that is. Uh, I have audio of that in another video uh, of the employee telling me from Fitness Armory telling me that this is just the way it is. Um, but yeah, just to be aware that when they tell you about the backplate, it doesn't actually exist. Or they said it doesn't actually exist. You guys can let me know um, if you find out more. This is just a continuation of the Fitness Armory equipment that I got. Uh, I'm gonna just be quickly going over the barbell and the pair of dumbbells that I got. So I got a pair of 50s and I got a pair of 70s. And you can see these dumbbells are pretty, pretty standard. Um, they're just hex rubber dumbbells. Um, one thing is that, uh, you know, if you treat these things well, they're going to last a while. If you don't treat them well, they're, you know, they're going to break. As you can see, this 50 already got bumped a little bit, um, probably some time in the warehouse. And so it does scrape. It's, it's not invincible. So if you treat it well, it's going to do okay. But if you don't treat it well, you know, it's not going to last as long. Overall, dumbbells, uh, you know, they're just dumbbells. There's nothing fancy about them. So, uh, and as for how long they'll last, I can't say. I just got them. So, uh, yeah. The one thing I did want to note is that because of these sharp edges uh, and corners, uh, you can very easily bump uh, these corners and edges, and uh, immediately it'll give the weight uh, kind of like a very used and broken kind of feel, versus if something was slightly more rounded. Um, then a lot of these uh, bumps and stuff wouldn't show as as immediately. Um, as you can see, some of these corners have already been hit a little bit versus some of these corners are still quite sharp. Um, and here are the 70s. So yeah, uh, pretty standard. Um, the barbell is one of their standard black zinc uh, uh, Olympic standard barbells. Uh, really nothing special about it. Um, it's pretty much the exact same thing as Rogue Fitness's black zinc uh, Ohio, Ohio bar. And in terms of price, it's about the same. So it's no cheaper, no more expensive. I think this one is on the website for $269 and Rogue Fitness's uh, Ohio bar is around 285 at the moment. And Rogue Fitness's bar has always been 285. This bar has fluctuated in price quite a bit, depending on, I guess, their supply. Um, as I said, standard bar, almost the same specs, uh, 190 kilo PSI in strength. And uh, yeah, the rest of the specs are pretty much the exact same. So uh, yep, that concludes my evaluation of this equipment. Thanks.